Hey, what is going on, Leos? Butch Tarot here. Uh, I am going to be doing your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. It is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. I am going to be using a deck that I received as a gift a few years ago. Um, the Incromancy Tarot, which absolutely love it. Uh, anyone that's seen me use it before knows how, how great it is. Um, it's actually, each card is, is designed by a different tattoo artist, so it's completely different. As many of you know, most tarot decks follow kind of a theme. Uh, but this is just, every card is by a different tattoo artist and no two cards are really the same at all um i love tattoos and i love tarot so how can we go wrong <laughs> anyway um with all that being said let's get it what message do we have for leo's We got for Leo's. Alright. So, the first thing I have, Leo, is I feel like... I mean, I feel this, this new energy coming in, and I feel like... I, the first thing I see is... I feel like the opening up communication. And, you know, I feel like there is someone new coming in. Now... I feel like you just... From the very beginning, you just find it very easy to talk to this person. Very easy to... You know, just really connect with them. You know, and even more so, I mean, we have the Eight of Swords reversed, so I feel like it's it's easy to be open with them. You know, even though you don't really know this person, there's already this, and this is where it's really going to hit differently. There's already this, like this establishment, like you can trust them. You know how some people have to earn your trust and some people have to work at it? This just feels like it just kind of comes naturally. You know, with that Knight of Pentacles, it's very... It's almost like it just flows. Like there's just something about them. Now, one thing I'm going to say about this, I feel like it's very random. Or it's going to seem very random. Like, I... You know, this is not someone you were planning to meet. You know, this is not like a, a blind date where you set it up. I mean, I just feel like this is a random meeting. And you just hit it off. I mean, the, the potential was evident in the very beginning. Like I said, just feeling comfortable with this person. Just feeling like there's just something about them that doesn't warrant... You know, keeping your distance. I mean, like like I said, with that Eight of Swords in reverse opening up to them. You know, just seeing a lot of potential here with that Page of Wands. Very early on.
And I feel like the more you get to know this person, the easier it is just to just to be around them. The easier it is to want to be around them. You know, even even so much as finding excuses to to be around each other. But I feel like there is this, I'm feeling a little bit of resistance here. And it's not for a, what you'd usually feel resistance for. You know, it's almost like the sense of holding on to some uh, past betrayal. And it's almost like not wanting to jump in too quickly, even though a lot of you is saying, yes, I want to, you know, your intuition is saying yes. Um, but that betrayal that you felt from someone else in the past, or this could be on their side as well, you know, almost like you're trying to hold back a little bit. Or they're trying to hold back a little bit. I mean, we have the eight or the three of cups, which is that friendship. So I feel like it's almost like we're trying to keep this kind of friendly. You know, you want to keep them in your life or they want to keep you in their life. Um, but really not making that move that both you feel like you want to make. It's almost like you're a f one or both of you are afraid to grab hold. And it's not because you're afraid of the person or you don't trust them. That's the opposite. It's the fear is that if you grab hold, they'll never want to let go. I mean, there is some physical energy between the two of you uh, with that Knight of Wands. We also have the King of Wands. The King of Wands is like that energy of grabbing on and never letting go. Um, you know, almost afraid that once you get a taste, you won't be able to walk away. You know, you get that free sample and, and it's over. <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. Um, you know, with the Knight of Wands, though, I mean, there, there's definitely more than a friendship between the two of you. And, and it's, I feel like it's very evident. Now, that's mutual. I feel like that's evident on both sides. You know, the holding back. I mean, afraid that if you reach out and touch this person you won't be able to stop that's not a bad fear to have but like i said i mean i i feel like we kind of keep it friendly in the beginning but it's evident that this is that's not where this is going you know i, I feel like very clearly thinking about each other when you're not around each other thinking about each other and only each other um, you know, start to expose that real bond that this is. This isn't just a friendship. This isn't just physical. This is something much deeper than that. That's why I feel like neither one of you want to go anywhere. And neither one of you really... I feel like the more you're around each other, the less you you start hiding it. You know, maybe in the beginning, kind of trying to hold back a little bit. But I feel like it just gets to a point where it overwhelms. And it's like, why are we hiding this? You know, why are we hiding this from each other? Because, I mean, like I said, neither one of you seem to be wanting to walk away from this. Because I don't see either one of you walking away. I see you both walking into it. Slowly, but still walking into it. And there's, a, there's an exp explanation for that. I mean, I feel like you're both ready for this. I mean, we have uh, the King of Cups, which is that mature emotional energy. You know, it, it, in that place in your life when you're ready for something real. You know, not even just ready, but I feel like you've both been waiting. Patiently waiting. And now that it's in front of you, why would we ever let it go? But that's what I'm saying. I don't feel like either one of you are really letting this go. I feel like kind of like a slow roll in the beginning, like just kind of taking your time. But more and more, the, the, the closer you get, the deeper this connection uh, presents itself. It's like we're not holding back anymore. You know, it's almost like going from trying to hide something, how you really feel, to not giving a shit if you hide it at all. You know, it just what comes out, comes out. 
I mean, I feel like you, you honestly, I've talked about this before. And I, I don't really, the idea of love at first sight is not really something I, um, I don't subscribe to that idea. Not to say that you can't fall for someone at first sight. I just feel like the sight part is what really gets me on that. I feel like it's the feeling, the energy. You know, you can fall for someone's energy. You can fall um, into someone's energy the first moment you meet them. But it's about energy. It's not about sight. It's just... I feel the love at first sight is so superficial, you know? It sounds like an exterior love. Like, you love how they look. I feel like it's much deeper than that. Um, but like I said, we have new love. And then we have that lover's card, which just shows the depth of this connection. And the reason why neither one of you want to go anywhere. And also the reason why I feel like you're just not hiding anymore. Like, why are we hiding this? You know, nurturing this is where this is headed. And I feel like once we both start, once you both start nurturing this, I don't want to put this, myself in this read. Once you both start nurturing this, you know, with that Aquarius energy, you find strength in it. This isn't a weakness. This is a strength. You know, I feel like you have a strong connection with this person. It's only getting stronger. Um, like I said, I feel like not only are you both, not only were you both, ready for this you're waiting for it and here it is and this chance encounter this random meeting seems less and less random just because we didn't see it coming didn't doesn't mean it, it wasn't it wasn't you know what i mean like but the thing that's most important about this is you know of all the things the reason why i feel like you feel like you can trust this person is coming to, that's going to become more and more evident as well i mean i feel like this person shows up and they put in the work they show up for you they give to you you know they're not just here to take from you they're here to give you know and, and there's a lot of a lot of physical energy here and it's just not just like eyeballing each other or you know looking each other up and down it's physical in the sense that i feel like there's a lot of a lot of four movement coming from physical touch you know that love language you know feeling like i mean i i mean it's intense feeling i feel it and that's why in a in kind of a selfish way i not really, but in kind of a selfish way, that's why I like good reads. Because I feel the energy from every read. Uh, I really connect to them. So if I'm going to do a read, I would like to get a good read. And I like, because I like the energy it, it puts off. And with this, it's like I can feel the touch. Let's get into that in a minute. We'll finish this off. Um, with this person... We have Gemini, Aquarius. We have Leo, we have Sagittarius. We also have some Cancer. Some Pisces. When I do reads, I feel personally connected to them. Um, same as when I do personal readings. Um, like I tell anybody that gets a personal reading from me, one thing that I always tell people, or I try to, and if, is that the hardest thing about doing personal readings, and even general readings, is it, it, it's, it really gets into your head. And it's hard to do a lot of them in, in, in a small period of time. It's very mental. It's very mentally draining. Uh, because you do feel that association to it. And 
I feel like that's why, in, in essence, it's called a personal reading or, you know, a general reading. Because you, you're you becoming part of it. And a personal is just more personal. It's more one-on-one. -on -one. But like with this read, I just, I feel, it's almost like I can feel this feeling of someone touching me. And it's almost like electric. So that's how I know when I'm saying that this is a very special connection is because that's the feeling you you get from this person is when they touch you, it's almost electric because it sends this vibe through you. And that's, that's a, that's a deep connection. Um, you know, like when you kiss someone and it's like, it feels good. But it, it, you know, it's okay. It gets a little hot, whatever. But then there's this one, you know, when you kiss that special person, there's something different about it. It's not so much feeling like you're just kissing another person. It's feel like you're almost connecting to that person through your lips, obviously. But same as like intimacy, when you're, when you, you can be intimate with people and you enjoy it because it's fun, you know, you have your intimate you know, intimacy with someone. But when you're with someone, that it, it has a deeper meaning. It feels different. I've only ever been in love once in my life. And when I was intimate with her, without getting into too much details with Rose, it was different. It's really hard to explain. I don't care. I don't know if anybody even cares for me to explain, but I, I feel like you get it if you get it, you know. Um, sounds really bad. In any other intimate relationship I was ever in, it was more. It made me happy. You know, let's be adults. Sex makes you happy. You know, it releases this, these chemicals in your brain. You know, it, it, it's a whole scientific thing. You know, it feels good. But when you're with that that person, that there's something deeper between the two of you. Like, I'm, I'm not very active. I've never had a lot of partners. Um, I've just always been that way. I kind of have to have some kind of connection with you in order to get to that place. Like, I don't share myself with just anybody. Um, but the few that I have with her, it was always different. It was deeper. I, I felt like our bodies were kind of like molding together or melting together. It didn't feel like, and my goal wasn't to have a good time. My goal was to see pleasure in her eyes. You know, and, and it was just as fun making out as as anything else. I mean, it, it wasn't just the physical, you know, it wasn't just sexual. It was different. You know, um, you see some people sometimes and you desire them. And, you, you know, and you fantasize about them and... And then when you finally get the chance, I mean, they're, you know, I'm, like I said, it, it feels good. But with that right person, it's different. It's the desire. A lot of times the desire is until you get to the point. You know, you think about kissing someone and then you kiss them. And then sometimes that kind of fucking fades. I don't mean, sorry, dropping the F-bomb on you, but that fades. You know, it's, you, you had it, and it's not that you don't want it again, it's just the desire isn't as much as there anymore. But with that right person, with someone special, it, it's almost like it becomes, the desire becomes more. I don't know if any of this makes sense, and I think I'm just rambling on, but... During the read, I was thinking about that when I said... Once they get a taste, they can't stop in that free sample. What I meant by that is I, you know, just watching those movies where 
like crime shows where the drug dealer gives you that first sample because they know once you get a sample, you're hooked. So they always make the first one free. That's what I was thinking of. You know, once you get a taste, that's all you're gonna want. That's the feeling I get with you and this person. So it is special. And like I said, it is intense. And when I say it's intense, what I mean by that is I feel it. And when I can feel, so it is kind of a, like not selfish, but there is a gratification I get from doing these raids. And the gratification I get is I get that feeling that you're getting. And it's like, that's why sometimes I even put myself in, in the reading somehow. And it's like when I say that connection between us, it's not, I mean you and them. Sometimes I feel like it's almost like I'm connected. And I like sharing your good moments. And I'll continue to share the bad moments too. Because that comes with it. But anyway, be good. Take care. Stay safe.